We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in uh, northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants, branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just, this is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around. We'll make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, you get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the Emerald Greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back, go around the plant, and again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top, and that'll make a nice, full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. We're at Highland Hill Farm, and these are some forsythias that we have. They're about almost six foot tall. They're bald and burlapped. We dug them about two, three weeks ago. They're already starting to root out. You can see the roots starting to come right out of these things right down here in the base. And they're a multi-stem shrub and we sell a lot of other trees and shrubs here as well as forsythia and right in this pot here is privet and over here is emerald green arborvitaes and out in the yard out there are more emerald greens Leland cypresses uh, we also have some boxwoods there's some cherry laurels up there and on this farm we have a lot of trees, plants, and shrubs over here. These are large green giant arborvitaes that we have for sale. They're bald and burlapped. And as you can see we have quite a supply of them. These were just dug yesterday. You can see we field dug them, tied them up. They're all ready to go out on jobs. We have some larger green giants over here. More, more arborvitas. This is Pyramid Alice. This is the European Cranberry. And in our yard we have large trees, large caliper trees. Large globe arborvitas. And this is our stone barn nursery where we have our sales yard. This is a uh, viburnum and dentatum, that's arrowwood viburnum. It's called blue muffin. Summer sweet. These are bamboo. This is a, a, a dwarf bamboo, a non invasive type. More boxwoods, burning bushes. 
eastern red cedar, bayberry, we have Japanese maples, cameo cypresses, red beauty hollies, Rheingold arborvitae, sea green junipers. We have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs. We're growing on a couple hundred acres here in Bucks County. We also have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County, so we grow a lot of nursery stock besides Persithia. But uh, you can stop in and pick most of your nursery stock up, or we can deliver and plant. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm.